Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be switching out the motherboard. So now I've already started the disassembly of the SEMA um, uh, X8C. Now, to take this apart, what you have to do, there are three screws, three uh, small uh, Phillips screws located in each one of the motor pods, as well as the four in the center body that clip this together. Now one of the things you will also have to do is take a knife and score the tape because the tape also holds it in there. And then what you can do is after that you can flip it around and there's the control board which we're going to replace. Now we have another hover based control board over here and we're going to replace this. What we're going to do is remove this and what we're going to have to do is each one of these leads is solder them back into the same spot and then plug this back in. Now one of the things you'll notice is that there seems to be some uh, glue here where these connectors are glued in. So we'll have to work on kind of gently removing this and prying this up um, and then maybe put a dab of something when we go back and replace it. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to start removing this board and desoldering it and then we're going to go from there. Okay, so I've got the board removed. Now, one of the things that you want to do is pay attention to the way that the wires were soldered. Because if you notice that the way this goes from this orientation is red, black, red, black, black, red, black, red. So because the motors are, that's how they control the direction of the motors because these are DC motors. So they obviously spin in one direction. So by reversing the power. So that's important. Also, I'm just simply going to reuse the existing board down here, or at least try to, because I believe all the mountings are roughly the same uh, that plug into it. So I'm just going to see about reusing that. It does look a little bit different. It does look like a clip that that's um, that's uh, not on here. That is on here, but I think. I think that should still plug into it because it's it's on it's on this one here so I'm hoping that should work um, and also the same thing with this back one there's a clip on this one but there's not on this so just to pin and I think that's one of the reasons they may have soldered it down because they didn't have the locking clips so I'm gonna go ahead and attach this also pay attention to the polarity uh, of this that powers the camera and so make sure that you get that uh, back in there correct. So what I'm going to do is uh, thread my power cable back through here as it was in the original. And then again, paying attention to the orientation, I want to make sure that I get this um, back in the same orientation that I removed it from. Okay, one of the things I did notice is that uh, I had originally mentioned that I didn't think that some of these had connectors. Well, they did. And what happened with the hot glue, they actually, the plastic piece pulled off the locking piece because these are just on here as sort of such, um, like this. So you have to be careful of that. Now, the other thing is, um, you know, so I I just removed them and put them back on. So that, that seemed to be fine. Um, the other thing is, you know, you pay note, um, there's markings on here if you get lost with soldering the motor back on, is that um, with that, um, there's also polarity um, settings on here too. So you can see them. I'll zoom in and so you can see that. So now I've got everything soldered back on. Now the other thing I'll share with you guys is when you solder these back on, this is like soldering to a pad. This does not pass through the board and neither do these other power connectors here. So it's very easy soldering, but you will need a heavier soldering iron. I used the 35 watt 
um, and that worked okay too because these are pretty big lugs and these are go on to the other side actually to pass through the board to solder these on now uh, what you may want to do for a more permanent fix I'm not going to do it but you might want to hot glue over these two to make them more resilient so vibration so if you got a cold joint uh, to be less likely to break off but anyways I've got this set up now so one of the things that I do want to see is I'm going to take a battery and I'm going to hook it up and then what I'm going to do is power on my board that's a good sign everything's flashing then I'm going to take my controller and we bound to the, the copter and the motor spin up okay so my board's uh, set up and working so you can see by the flashing lights the the mod was actually relatively simple and uh, you know basically you just simply do the reverse to button this all back up so uh, anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video and again hopefully it helped uh, how do you take the SEMA apart the X8 uh, apart how do you upgrade I'll have a link to this board down below so if you want to do this upgrade yourself now I do have the other controller in, uh, in so it's got the um, set. Now my understanding is it will also work with the original. I'm not going to do the antenna mod right now. Um, I'm not sure that there's a huge advantage to doing it. Um, maybe in a future video. Let me know down below if you've done it and what you think if you've modified the antenna from the monopole design that's in here now. And maybe we'll do it in a future one. So, hey, hit the like button if it helped you out. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything I can do for you. And we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.